श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम when any action is repeatedly done we are able to perform that action without involvement of our mind like this ram raksha stotra we chant <clears throat> because i know it by heart so you have to look into the book but i don't have to <coughs> so i keep on chanting and it goes perfectly well and my other work also goes but my mind is in the other work i have to label this talk what is the serial number so there are two things simultaneously happening action is mechanically done and where mind is not involved <coughs> and all the problems are not in the action they are in the mind and therefore those who are doing japa they should remember this principle suppose we are chanting sri ram jay ram jay jay ram now that rhythmic chanting we see so after some time you will get into that um, waves of chanting if you repeat it for good number of times then you don't require any attention this has to be consciously corrected and therefore we have to work on the mind and then we have to go beyond the impact of mind on us so first working on the mind mind has got a one very good quality it can make a habit addiction very quickly whatever it is like i take tea in the morning at 4 o'clock and morning immediately i want tea so when i realize that i said hey am i getting addicted to this or what so the moment i become aware i stop i said no more tea see so i have started living more in awareness than a mechanical lifestyle most of the people who do upasana that becomes mechanical see and <clears throat> for that when we are chanting the lord's name so what are the things which we have to consciously observe so that it doesn't become mechanical and we are able to dissolve the mind in consciousness the first thing <clears throat> we chant not too many times but only let us say for example three times and chant every name mantra as we are tasting a chocolate what is the difference between eating a chocolate and ayurvedic medicine ayurvedic medicine we don't want to test after that take a glass of water or something sweet and oh god it's too bad are we chanting lord's name 
राम जय 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 राम मैकेनिकल वी आर नॉट वर्किंग ऑन द माइंड सो वी चैन लेट अस से थ्री टाइम्स एंड स्लोली मोर देन हाउ मेनी टाइम्स वी चैन द लॉर्ड्स नेम इंपॉर्टेंट इज हाउ मच टाइम वी आर इन ट्यून विथ दैट थीम <clears throat> so we chant only listen i am chanting loudly you can do in your room or do in your mind not now shri ram jai ram jai jai ram shri ram jai Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. Now, what exactly is happening? This we have to earn, uh, learn and um, imbibe. <coughs> so we are not in a hurry number 1 number 2 between two shri ram jai ram jai jai ram there is no dissimilar thought so it begins shri ram jai ram jai jai ram resolves no dissimilar thought but we won't be able to keep quiet because of old habit so if you feel that some thought is likely to pop out again shri ram jai ram jai jai in this manner by practice we can increase the gap between two shri ram jai ram jai jai <clears throat> first step after this is done then next step where from this begins shri ram shri so be very attentive mind begins from the sternum the spiritual heart not the bloody heart because when a child is born his lungs are solid and when he comes out and if he doesn't cry then what the nurses do urdhva moola mad shakha hold that child upside down and splash cold water that initiates expansion of the lungs and after that the external air is sucked inside so breathing in is a passive exercise it is not active and this happens here at the stomach so from this principle of life mind is born so we we start taking that as the beginning of every thought so shri ra it begins from here it goes back there
Now in this, although breathing is an action, chanting is action, but importance is given to the awareness. It is not being done mechanically. And then we go one step further. <coughs> Chanting is Kriya action and listening is knowledge. So now we go to the next step. First we were only chanting Sri Ram. Where from it begins, where it ends, action. Now we add one more parameter. We listen to what we chant. Sri Ram. Sri Ram. Sri Now we have to learn what is happening. It should not be done mechanically. Chanting is Kriya Shakti. And listening is Jnana Shakti. When action and knowledge, they synchronize 100%. The division between the two is gone and they merge in one. In this, we transcend the mind and come in awareness. Because this knowledge and action, they have merged together. Therefore, there is nobody who is chanting and there is nobody who is listening. The division of these two, Jnana Shakti, Kriya Shakti, merged. And therefore, Jnana Shakti gone. Janendriya is gone. Kriya Shakti gone, Karbendriya is gone. So this experience is trans means of knowledge. There are no efforts involved because there is nobody. So this experience is unlike any experience we have ever gone through. We cannot label this experience like what?
because in this experience experiencer is not born So, <coughs> experience without experiencer or being without becoming. <coughs> is one and the same. Because knowing and being are not two. We are hearing everything. We are hearing the sounds. But error is not born, and therefore. There is no comment on what we hear. It is like a stone thrown in deep waters just absorbed without creating ripples. When thought ripples are born, somebody is born. <coughs> so we are in utter awareness. Now, in this experience, there is no any speciality associated with. So, it is non specific experience. Because this experience is not through sense organs, mind or intellect. They are dropped. You are hearing what I am telling. But hearer is not born. This non-specific 
अनलाइक एनीथिंग एक्सपीरियंस is not the product of any action <coughs> because nobody is born as a result there is no success and no failure so meditation is not an action but an experience there success and failures have no place when waking and dream experiences happen nothing is added to us when deep sleep and samadhi happens nothing is lost we continue to support all these four experiences but do not get influenced by anything This is what Bhagwan says. Vedaishya sarvai aham eva vidya. This aham, the eternal truth, is worthy of knowing. And this knowing cannot be. without being this is what we began chanting is kriya and listening is knowledge <coughs> when these two merge mind dissolves and what remains is experience without experiencer because knowing and being how merge together your body has disappeared from your mind the contour line of the body 
he is no more valid. There is neither gain nor loss. When a pot is made, pot space is not born. When the pot breaks, pot space doesn't die. Because the pot is in the space. Similarly, knowledge and action are in me. I am not in them. This is not silence. This experience is neither supporting the sounds because hearer is not born. nor it is <coughs> opposed to the silence both presence and absence of sounds is equal. Presence of sounds, waking and dream. Absence of sound, dream, sleep and samadhi. The is and is not. doesn't add or subtract anything from what we are. This eternal presence He is going beyond the past, future and the present.
this identity between knowing and being is the source of all wisdom. And the wisdom is <coughs> there is neither success nor failure. Because there is nobody. Then the pot breaks, the pot space merging with the total space is not a success because although in the pot it was always one with the total space because the pot is in the space. Similarly, The objects are in the sense organs. Sense organs are in the mind. Mind is in I. I is in life principle. Life principle is in pure conscious existence. Vision is not influenced by colors and forms, is not an action, is not a struggle, it is our natural state. And unnatural likes and dislikes. <coughs> All sense organs are in the mind. Therefore, none of them influence the mind. Mind is in I. And this I is in Chetana. Either we are awake, dream, deep sleep, samadhi, 
or coma. Ketana remains untouched. And this Chetana is an expression of your conscious existence. In being, no efforts. There are no efforts. We are one with the divinity. When the meditation is action-oriented, you go away from the truth. Therefore, when Patanjali says, Prayatna Shaitilya Ananta Samapati Dhyam means when you are one with your essential nature, all efforts cease. When efforts cease, nobody is born. When there are efforts, somebody is born.
remain indifferent to every thought. The moment you participate, somebody is born. We are very much awake. But we have not become a waker because we are not reacting or interacting to all the sounds that are heard and therefore this is not sleep, this is not samadhi, this is not waking, it is being going beyond Sense organs, mind and ego.
body has disappeared from the mind. But awareness is intact. Because this is our natural, non-specific being. There is no achievement, nor is any failure if we can't. Whether we know or not, whether we want or don't, we are divine. Being no efforts, in becoming nothing but efforts.
instead of setting long hours in one go initially it is advisable short settings multiple times and through this process many hidden secrets of life are unveiled take a deep breath slowly move your palms fingers and toes and see how the body is now included in the mind and the concept of i am inside the body and the world is outside the body has become real and the samsara begins offer everything at the feet of the lord don't make a memory of this if you make a memory it was a disastrous failure this experience is trans mind experience ends you cannot make a memory i had a bad dream is a memory i had a good childhood is a memory but i am is not a memory. describe and label this experience with any adjectives and this is easily achieved we offer everything at the feet of the lord and we empty ourselves and ready to play the game of life om purna madaha purna midam purna purna mudachate purnasya purna madaya purna meva avashishyate om shanti 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम